Hey YouTube family and friends, welcome back to our daily devotional. Today is day 8. We are reading Taming the Untainable. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Song 14, 1, 3. What a challenge it is for women to master their tongues. Has yours been out of control lately? It is said that women use an average of 20,000 words a day, while men only speak 7,000. With that many words pouring out of our mouths every day, there is simply a greater possibility that some of them will be hurtful, unkind, and harmful. What's to be done with our tongues? James describes them as a fire that is un unattainable by man. One moment it praises God, the next it curses man. What a dilemma. It is so wonderful to know that just like the other challenges we face, we can run to God for a solution. He does not, I'm sorry, he does what we cannot do, but he must do our, but we must do our part. Meditate on the word so that scripture flows easily and our consciousness are tender. Determine to speak more about God and less about others. And finally, pray with the psalmist. Set a guard over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Help me, Lord, to speak words of life to those around me. Help me to swallow words that are harm and speak only words that are uplift. Amen today I read this and I feel like God is talking directly to me <laughs> in more ways than one I say that because <laughs> yes we praise God we can give him praise with our mouth with our words in one phrase and sickness and then in the next I could be fussing because I'm tired and all I want to do is take a nap and the kids could be asking me a million questions or hubby moving too slow and I just want to get home. It's so crazy how you can go from being joyous one moment and being upset in the next moment. It is so easy to allow the things that bother us to just take control of us and allow words to come out of our mouths that we don't even agree with or feel. And just reading this passage and just seeing like, yeah, I'm talking to you today, Nicole. I'm talking to you today. You have to be better. And I love how it says, set a guard over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Like, do not allow things, negative things, to pass my lips, Lord. Because the mouth is a powerful mouthpiece. It's very powerful. Words are very powerful. You have to be so cautious of what you speak out here in this in this world. Because some things you speak out, it can come to pass. And you don't want that to happen. Especially if it's not such a good thing you want to come to pass. So we have to guard our mouths and ask God to guard our mouths so that more beautiful things and, and more amazing words can come past it and not the negative. When we may be down or tired or going through something or somebody just peed us off, we have to watch what we say. Take a moment and don't say nothing. Don't react right away. Just breathe. Give it to God. And let him control what you say. Let him be your mouthpiece. Because sometimes, I know we may not have the best mouthpiece <laughs> to say things that we need to say. So let's try to work on that to get to, together, guys. Today, you guys. Let's, 
be more cautious about the words that we put out here in the universe and the things that we say because we don't want certain things to come to pass. So again, it says meditate on the word so that scripture flows easily and our consciousness are tender. Meditate on the word of God so that the scripture flows easily and our consciousness are tender. Amen. I hope you guys found something inspiring and inspirational out of this day eight devotional reading. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe if you are new here. And I hope to see you guys on day nine tomorrow. Hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. And remember, set a guard over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Help me, O oh Lord, to speak words of life to those around me. Help me to swallow words that harm and speak only words that uplift. Amen. Let's be mindful of our mouthpiece today, tomorrow, and every day. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.